In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Kibo's light sensor with the repeat blocks. So Kibo's light sensor will sense a room with everyday lighting, like the one we're in right now, as bright. And if you want the light sensor to sense that it's dark, you'll need to cover the light sensor, just like you'd cover your eyes and you would think it was dark. Or you could program your robot to drive to somewhere else in the room that's darker, like a tunnel or a shady area of the room. So here are the two parameters you can use with your repeat block to control Kibo's light sensor. There's an until light parameter and an until dark parameter. So these get attached onto your repeat block just the same way as our number parameter and our distance parameter was attached. There's Velcro on the back and you stick it right onto your repeat block. So I've made this program here. I said I wanted my Kibo robot to begin and to repeat until dark, shaking. And once it senses that it's dark, it'll end that repeat loop and then it'll turn on its blue and red light and then end. So let's scan this program onto our Kibo robot and see what happens. So I've just scanned this program onto my Kibo robot and I've already attached the light sensor, but because I also wanted my robot to turn on the blue and red light, I need to remember to attach my light bulb as well. So let me attach that. So let's run this program and see what happens. So you can see Kibo is shaking and it's going to repeat shaking until it senses that it's dark. So I'm going to cover Kibo's light sensor with my hands so that it senses that it's dark. And then as soon as I covered it, you saw the blue and red light flash. And that's it. Check out our next video to see how to use Kibo's if blocks.